Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen the fourth property of Laplace transform that is of multiplication by t property. And we have only seen the proof of that property. Now here in this learning video, we are going to take a problem on that property number four. So let us see the problems first. So the problem says we have two problems to solve, two different variety of problems I have taken. So let us solve this property, for, uh, this problem first with the help of property. So this problem says find Laplace transform of t square into sine 3t. Okay, so how we can find out Laplace transform of sine square t? You just first of all see what is my f of t. Let f of t is equal to sine 3t. This implies Laplace transform of f of t that is sine 3t is, is 3 upon s square plus 3 square that is 9. Say this is to be f of s. Okay. Now as uh, we are going to solve this problem with the help of property number 4. So let us recollect what is property 4. By the property we have by the property by the property we have what is it? Laplace transform of what is it? Laplace transform of t to the power n into f of t is equal to what is it? Remember minus 1 to the power n nth order derivative of f of s. That is the property. So what we want to find out? We want to find this. So in place of n we have to f of t sin 3. So you can write put n is equal to 2 and f of t is equal to sin 3t we get what we get we get Laplace transform of t square into sin 3t is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 n is equal to 2 into d2 by ds square of f of s. f of s I have already found out that's uh, 3 upon s square plus 9. Simple? Any doubt up to this? Clear? Okay. So this is minus 1 square is what is it? Minus 1 square is plus 1. dds of take one time derivative of this. So I am taking that 3 outside one time derivative of this is two times now so this is dds of dds so what about this minus one upon s square plus nine whole square into two s okay now uh, take one more derivative before that i'm gonna take this uh, minus two outside so this is minus six into now apply dds of what is this? dds of s upon s square plus 9 whole square. Okay. So, apply the quotient rule there. Remember the quotient rule. What is d of u by v? This is the quotient rule. So, this says v square v into du minus u into dv. Okay, so apply this. This is my u, this is my v. So this is minus 6 into a square plus 9 whole square square. So this is power 4. Then start with v, end with v. a square plus 9 whole square. First function, derivative of second, 1. Minus second function, derivative of first. Okay, are we getting the same? Just, just a minute. 
plus v derivative of u is 1 minus u derivative of this. So derivative of this s square plus 9 would be 2 s square plus 9 into derivative of s square plus 9 is 2s. Now it's correct. Okay. So this is uh, as you can see s square plus 9 is common throughout. So I can just write it as s square plus 9 power 3 so I, what I am doing it I am taking s square plus 9 common from the numerator and cancel with this 1 s square plus 9 so I remain with this now what is remain here is s square plus 9 then here s square plus 9 is or so this is 4s square minus 4s square Okay, and we have here minus sign outside. Okay, so now s square minus 4 s square is minus 3 s square. Okay, I can write here, here only. We can write here only uh, the value of this. So value of this comes out to be this is minus 6 and this is uh, minus 3s square plus 9 upon s square plus 9 q. Okay. Now you can just uh, take minus 3 outside. The moment you take minus 3 outside it would be uh, plus 18. 3 outside means we remain with s square minus 3 upon s square plus 9 q so this is the answer i'm getting s 18 times s square minus 3 upon s square plus 9 q so value of this is this okay 18 s square minus 3 upon s square plus 9 so this is the answer that i'm getting now this completes the solution of the first problem now look at the second problem so what does second problem says the second problem says evaluate integration 0 to infinity t into e to the power minus 2t dt okay so let us solve this problem now solve this problem you just see here the solution let i is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus 2t into t cos t dt okay now I can write this one as integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into t cos t dt and I am writing here s is equal to 2. Can I write this as what I am writing e to the instead of writing 2 I am writing s and putting s is equal to 2. So what is this? This is nothing but Laplace transform of t into cos t. Simple. Now you can make use of the result. So what is f of t? Let f of t is equal to cos t. Implies what is f of s? f of s means Laplace transform of cos t s upon s square plus 1. Now making use of the result. What is the result? By the property by the property we have what we have by the property we have Laplace transform of t to the power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power n into nth order derivative of f of s okay 
So we want Laplace transform of this, right? We want Laplace transform of this. So you can just put t is equal to sorry n is equal to one and f of t is equal to cosine of t. So this implies Laplace transform of t power one into f of t is cos t is equal to what is it? <clears throat> what is it? Minus one power one into one derivative of f of s. f of s I have already found out s upon s square plus one. Okay, so solve this now. This is minus. Apply here the quotient rule for this. So this is minus and this is applying the quotient rule s square plus 1 whole square a square plus 1 into derivative of this is 1 minus s into derivative of a square plus 1 is 2s so this is minus of a square plus 1 minus 2s square upon a square plus 1 whole square right so this is minus of what is it minus a square plus 1 upon a square plus 1 whole square but whatever we are all doing it for s is equal to 2 so in everywhere we have value of s to be 2 so i is equal to Laplace transform of t into cos t is equal to put s is equal to 2 so this is minus 2 square is 4 so this is minus 4 plus 1 upon this 2 square is 4 plus 1 that is 5 so this is 25 so this gives you 3 by 25 but what is this i that is integration 0 to infinity t into e to the power minus 2t into cos t dt is equal to 3 by 25 is equal to 3 by 25 and this is the required solution for the given problem so i hope uh, this is making sense uh, and uh, on the property for we have taken two different variety of problems more problems will be uh, we will be taking in the live interactions also so thank you for watching this learning video and for any doubt you can contact okay thank you